Hey guys, start recycling FPV. We're going to be looking at an RMA here. I'm going to put this, as you know, we do these on camera so that we have somebody to watch us and everybody can see that we're doing things legit. This is another one that claims it caught on fire, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up right now. Something about these fire claims are starting to get to me because we're seeing, you know, fire claims were, I'll be honest with you, about, I don't know, most of the time it's not what the customer says. They don't tell you everything they've done to it, and then you open it up and you realize, oh, hey, uh, you threw it in a pool by accident, or oh, hey, you put in a 6S battery on a 3S drone. So, not to say this this problem, but it does make it a bit harder when everybody's, when most people are having a hard time remembering the value of just being honest. Now, this guy may be completely honest, but the fact that I have to go through this because of so many that are not becomes frustrating. So, let's see what we got here. All right, I'm hoping that this is just a legitimate, it's a fire, blah, blah, blah. The problem is, is it was already what worked on. That part I know because the customer told us he had to wire up his receiver. So now I need to make sure that everything else was done properly. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the canopy. This way we can get down into it. We'll take it from there. There's the canopy and the antenna are off. Okay, now let's get to the BTX. All right, VTX is disconnected now. There's that. Uh, let's see if we have any issues there. Let's disconnect the flight controller. It's cooked. The flight controller is cooked, and the way it's cooked, it looks like it actually grounded out onto something. So let's see what we got here. Because part of this, oh my goodness, okay. This is wonderful. All right. So here's the ESC, and everything pretty much cooked right off of it. It melted pretty good. All the chips melted on here. Let's look at the frame to see if there's a point of contact. It doesn't look like it. There's no burn spots on this frame. Nothing that I really see. But what does look like to me is that it almost looks like the USB grounded on something here. And every chip here can be to the front where it's melted. Here, here. You said we have a new petrol, right? Mm -hmm. Are you waiting for me? Uh, okay, I was watching. I need to. I need you to show me a new petrol. Okay. Um, is that too much to ask for? No, it doesn't matter what. Like, I just need a new petrol. I need to look at the way that this is mounted because something's not making sense. Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, now I need to look also at this RMA and reference the pictures this guy sent. There's something again, there's one thing that concerns me. And I'm gonna look it up here real quick. I gotta find my keyboard first, hold on. All right, one of the things I wanna see is, one of, one of the, uh, let me type this. 
Let's see if we can get into this here real quick. All right, so let me go look at this, and I can't show you guys this part, right, because I'm just going to keep this stuff private. What I am going to do is I'm going to look at uh, the way this is set up here. Okay, so what I want to see is this right here. Did you open it? No? Yeah. Yeah? Well, it's, it was... Okay. So here's the petrol. Here's the petrol, the way it's supposed to be, right? This is what it looks like. And that's not how this was sent back. No, no, his is sitting like this. But the problem, the, the problem is Okay, so the problem is if you compare it to the new petrol. So the ESC sits this way and the flight controller sits like this. Right, is that right? That looks right. Yes, just like that. So we have our, what's at the back, that's right. But the problem is that it was crushed right here. And that looks like that's exactly what happened. So it looks as though I need to pause this video and go back to it. All right, so we're back now. I had to take a little bit of a break, Sam. Sam went and grabbed another uh, petrol and I started digging through this and uh, okay so here's the deal I took some pictures I went I had to go back and review the video we did because as I was doing this video as I started doing it I knew I had videoed the um, I knew I had videoed opening like unscrewing it and there was an angle there that I needed and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so here it is right here uh, and this is gonna be kind of weird because um, let me see Okay, so here's a picture right here. Now this is a still picture, okay? So, uh, <coughs> but this is the one I did. So then I went and blew this up. <coughs> and there's what I'm looking at. Now, I don't know if you can, I can't, I can't draw on this thing, I guess, to show you what I'm talking about. But what I'm looking at is that USB right there. And you can see um, uh, right where my finger is there, right above it, the VTX is on the top. It's very close to the flight controller. And then I'm looking there between the flight control of the ESC, and this is where my concern, this is where my focus is, right? So, sorry, and I know that's hard to see. Uh, let me see if I can get rid of this stupid picture now. Here, all right, so we're gonna get back. So, looking at that, uh, um, I asked Sam if we had the rest of the components, and she said to find the um, capacitor, because I found the power cable, and the thing is with this, the, the report is, and again, I'm, I'm you know, it's, I'm just being picky here because things just don't, add, things aren't adding up exactly, but again, it could be whatever. So, so here's the deal. So, um, I'm going to get this microscope here because I'm going to try to show you all something. And this is, this is where I'm going to go with this. Uh, so let me go ahead and share this real quickly. Let me see if I can get that to work, get the computer screen up there for you. Okay. So. Here is the microscope, and under the microscope, I'm going to put the following. Um, these are the wires, okay? These are the XT30 connectors, and I want you to look at this, okay? So, I'm looking because the claim is that the wires burned off. Okay, that's what was said, is that the wires burned completely off. But I'm not seeing that to be the case, and here's what I'm looking at here. First of all, um, let me show you the burn here. So the burn markings, and let me find those real quickly, hold on. 
Okay, so here's the here's the burn markings. All right, this is the silicone that was the standoffs. Okay, right here. All right, and these are the standoffs between the ESC and the flight controller. Okay, um, so you see the burn markings here. All right, now look at the ESC. Here's the ESC. Look at this. Looks like total chaos in here. Most of the damage, from the looks of it, it looks like it starts on this side. Now, if you have to put this, here's the here's the plug, and then it looks like we start seeing the damage here, okay, and here. And the funny part about this is this fits the USB port perfectly. Now look at the other side though. The other side's not as bad, okay. Uh, everything's there still. Um, everything looks like it's intact. Now look at the plugs, okay. So here's what I'm looking at here, and I'm not seeing anything that shows fire back here at all. All right, I see heat, and I can see the fire maybe coming on this side, but I don't see anything here, and I'm looking underneath, and again, I don't see anything that's really hinting to me that the fire was, I see it hot, I see the items that it melted, but I see the damage being on the edges, okay? And not anything, look, I mean, we've got extensive damage, more damage with, Definite burn marks on the edges here and on the edges here. I mean, these are these are to the point where they're just exposed. I mean, this is terrible, right? As if they were grounded, all right? So, but on the back, I don't see anything. I mean, seriously, these these caps here usually can go pretty quickly. These are the first ones to go. These are in place. So the heat source isn't coming necessarily from this side at all, okay? And flipping it over, I see while these have moved, and so did it here, None of these did either. Nothing did. None of these. None of these smaller. Even even here, we're still okay. But we see it more up here, and then we see total chaos right here. All right. So that gets me to the next point. All right. So the cable, I do not see any heat, any burns, any kind of fire marks at all on here. As a matter of fact, what I see is a clear separation. Uh, and what you can look at here is the way this flight controller, the way the ESC. The way you solder to it, and I'll show you real quickly. Here's the ESC, right? So you solder to it like this, right? So you put the wire on here, and it covers it, and it makes this hole, this little, little like uh, dot here that goes that appears because it goes through this this little area right here, right? Sorry, it goes through this little area right here, and it makes that little dot. Okay. There's nothing here that tells me that that burned or caught fire. Could it have pulled off? Sure. Could it have been in an accident? Could it have pounded in? Sure. But I don't have anything to show that until I grab the ESC. I mean the capacitor. Here's the capacitor, right? Now I want you to look here. Okay. This is a brand new petrol. Okay. And I want you to see how the capacitor is mounted. See how it's up here like this? All right. Um, it's up here this way for a reason. It keeps it clear. And it's going to stop it from the from from kind of uh, interfering with any other other components. Okay, sorry. All right. So what I have a concern about is this. Here is the capacitor, and now you can see the impact marks on this one. Right. I mean, it's pretty extensive. So what we have here is this, like this uh, rounded area right here. Okay. And then we have some spots here and here, okay? This is impact. This isn't fire related. Now look at the capacitor itself though. Now these thin wires, okay? No, what are you doing? I just ask what you're doing. I don't know if I was getting too loud. No. Like chugging. What you're seeing here is the writing. This isn't burn marks at all. This is writing. Okay, I see, I see stress, but no fire. I don't see any burn marks. I don't see any markings on here that I've seen on capacitors that have caught fire. And trust me, you'll know when they have. I see stress on here. I see maybe some. I mean, you know, I, I, I just see more of like a, more like a. I don't know how to use it, like say abuse, but not abuse from the pilot, just abuse, right? Like it's been used. But the most, 
the most damaging thing here is this spot right here. So you have to look at the frame now. You have to say, okay, so here's the frame. I'll try to put this under the microscope so you can see. So here's the frame, right? Here's the pattern of the frame. And here's the pattern of the mark, okay? So we have this shape here, and we have these shapes here on the back, sorry. So let's look at that. This shape seems to match something that would have been caught, let's just say, on the edge. Let me, let me just kind of try to get my finger out of the way. On the edge, right? It could have been on any one of these edges. Like this. Let's see if I can turn that up. Okay, where it gets caught. I know I'm kind of blocking it. So let me get rid of this microscope now. Let me show you the way I'm looking at this. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's just zoom in as much as we can. Just so I can keep this here. So here's the frame. Here's this. And there's that dent right there, right? That dent will match anything like this. So if this was to take an impact and collapse on it like that, you would see this mark. It's just like a half, it's, a, it's, it's a basically a straight edge into a round area. That's what happens. Okay, so now if you were to look at a new petrol, if you were to pound this petrol in, I mean, just seriously, slam it into the ground, there's not a, there's nothing hard up here for to, to interact with this, to compress it, to make that shape happen. My guess is this person took this capacitor, moved it to the bottom, somewhere down here, so he could put his receiver in because he does say that he installed his receiver. So the capacitor was moved from its original spot down. This thing took a hard hit. And when it did, the wires popped off. Chances are the battery positive hit something around this area when this compressed, because what we see now is on the bottom. So what we see now is the USB from the flight controller, look at it. Look how burned this is. Let me put this under the microscope so you guys can get an idea of this, because this is the part that really concerns me as well. Uh, you don't need my face on the blocking. All right, look. Look how terrible this is. All right. What? Let's see if I get some more light here for you guys. There. Now look. Okay. On the edge of this flight controller, everything looks fine. I mean, it's fine. Coming to here, it's okay. It's not too bad. You can see some burns. Coming up here, it starts to look really, really bad. And then right here, it's awful. Okay. And all right in here is the area of concern. What this tells me is that this thing was compressed. It looks like it was compressed, and I'll tell you why. Because here's the board, and here's the USB and how it sits. I'm going to try to turn this so you can see it. This USB fits perfect where this, look, and I'll show you. You can look at this. Let me zoom. Let me focus. This USB seems to fit perfect right here where these parts are burned out which tells me that this was compressed or it looks like it was compressed all right now was it compressed after he installed the stuff i don't know was it compressed when he took it off i have no idea but this fits this usb fits in this slot where these are missing perfectly and it goes to tell me that the damage here on the esc and the damage on the underside of the flight controller that this piece here looks like at some point it grounded here or shorted here okay and that the issue did not start back here <clears throat> where we have no burn marks at all nothing okay so now that is the part that i think has been omitted from this story is that this thing the story is hey i just flew it and then i put my second pack in and it caught fire because the capacitor says that's not what happened. The capacitor says you hit something pretty hard and then these detached. These are not burned off because there are no burn marks on here to indicate that at all. And I mean, this was, if this caught fire, there would be some uh, burning showing just like there would be on the outside of these, of these pieces. The burning isn't around the battery terminal. The burning is around the sides where it looks like this may have been cranked down really hard after the customer opened. I don't know. What I do know is the capacitor was not sitting up here when it wrecked. 
I do know that it was sitting against the carbon fiber, and for all I know, that could have shorted out. In the picture, one of the things in the picture that was really important was the compression there that you can see on those standoffs that are black. See the standoffs? The, yeah, they're supposed to be red standoffs between the flight controller and the ESC. That is so compressed right there. They're bent. And I would say that that would be because they're melted or that they got hot, but they don't melt. They just have burn marks on them. But when you take them out, they, they completely stretch back out. So what I can show you here is, this is one of those that you were looking at, okay? Let me go ahead and put this, I'll give you the microscope for this one just so you can see. All right, so here's the microscope and here you go. These are the burn ones. They don't compress in, they're not squished in. All right, they didn't just like get, start melting and go squished in. They actually pop back out. This is the same silicone that would pretty much go on the outside of some pretty industrial wire, pretty good wiring right here. So they can withstand the heat. So they, while they do have burn marks, and there's none on here at all, nothing. There's, I mean, there's nothing, right? Um, they're compressed in the picture, okay? So in the picture, they're compressed. And you can see them in the middle compressed. Now, if you look at a brand new petrol, like this one, HGLRC, I've said this before in my videos and I stand behind this, when they screw in their um, stacks, they don't, they don't make a mistake, okay? That's one thing I'll tell you about them is very consistent, all right? And if you wanna ever try to test me, go just, just grab some when you get the next one. Look, see the gap here between this? This is a pretty big gap. There's no compression here at all, okay? And what HGLRC does, and you can do it by just putting the screwdriver up here. When I turn this, right? Let me see if I can get this on here properly. I don't think I can fit it, actually. Let me see, okay. So, I want you to see this, okay? If you can tell, the bottom screw, uh, get back on here, is turning. I've got a, there's something attached to it there, so you, you kind of see it, see that little thing turning there? Yeah, it's so, it's so loose, they leave it loose. They just basically put this on enough to get to the nylon of the locking nut here, and that's it. That, if you want to press it down, you'll start seeing these compress, you see? See that look? That's where they compress, right? But if you let them go, they don't. This is how they're sent. That's not what the picture shows. All right, so now, that being said, I think where we're at is, uh, this thing went through a wreck. It smashed in pretty hard. I think it caught fire during that wreck. And I think it caught fire because it hit hard enough that it bent the capacitor. I believe that it pulled the wires off uh, and most likely shorted the board. My answer to this one is that it will have to be up to HGLRC if they want a warranty of this, but I do not see this being the fault of the drone. I think that the... You're on camera. Uh, as well. You remind me of, like, and Mr. Purple did it in the billiard Colonel room. Mustard in the billiard yeah. room with a candlestick. <laughs> now, look, man, I get it. Look, look, all I'm saying is, you know, I, when they catch... Look, they don't just catch fire. I keep trying to tell people this. They don't just catch fire. You have to tell me the truth. It wrecked. Start with that. Just be honest with me. It wrecked. Hey, it wrecked and then it blew up. Great. Hey, at least I know I'm not having to take things apart and now I got to wipe my whole... Look, look, look. Look at all the crap I got to clean up. All jokes aside though, it wrecked. And nobody said anything about that. The story is, flew it once, plugged in the battery a second time, whole thing caught on fire. No. It wrecked. Most likely caught on fire then. These have a perfect disconnection from there. I just, I'm just not buying it, okay? I'm not buying it. So I'm gonna have to tell HRC it's up to them. They're gonna see the video, they can determine it. As far as I'm concerned, the answer is no on our end. What do you say? It's a no for me. It's a no for me. But th look, this guy's a pretty cool guy. I mean, like, I'm not dogging him. I am what, just saying that. What? Look, look, look. She's one of those case file watchers, <laughs> and she's making a good point. It's burned in the front of the canopy. And it's on the left side of the canopy. I don't know if you can see that. Let me uh, let me see if I can get that close enough. See that burn? You see those? Okay, that's consistent with the ESC and the USB side that I'm talking about, right? There's nothing on the other side, and there's nothing on the back. Now, even though this does sit 20, uh, um, 15 or 20 millimeters above, obviously, okay? But the ESC on the front, where the USB is, right in that vicinity, is what we're looking at right there, 
All right. So I think there's more to this, but my answer is going to be no on this one. Okay, guys. That's 18 minutes of. Oh no, wait, because we had we started the video twice, didn't we? Yeah. Damn it. You gotta go back and edit this. Okay. All right. That's it. That's my story for now, guys. Hey, listen, you take care. As always, if you have any questions, please find us at our Facebook uh, groups right there. And please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We love doing this stuff. And so your help and support is always appreciated, right? God bless. Spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. So please make the most of it. Fly later. All right? Go solder with your wife like I'm doing with mine, even though she hates me right now. You still do that. All right, talk to you all later. Peace.